Kisi Ogosikeni. I'm president of the All Africa Student Union, and also I serve here in the board of Wales University. Uh, sitting up from a very great event yesterday where history was made, this great university decided to have as its chancellor the great man of God, our father, Reverend Dr. Chris Ayakileme, DSC, DSC, DD, who graciously has accepted to serve in that capacity. And uh, we actually had done that investiture yesterday, which is already available to you in the media. And of course, that is because of his antecedents of excellence, especially in the ministry and other works of life. He is actually one of those people we know that has been very passionate about investing in access to excellent education across the continent and, of course, across the globe. We do not want to talk about how he revolutionized the televangelism space of the world and, of course, how he has built men that built nations of, of Africa and of the world. And, of course, being cognizant of that, of that very rich profile of uh, Reverend Dr. Chris Ayakulemi, DSC, DSCDD, this university has decided to confer that Reverend status of Chancellor. And of course, that is also coming in the sense way that uh, Dr. Desmond Ayakulemi has actually come up to seat now as Pro Chancellor, President of the Board, of course, which is a capacity he has actually assumed. And today, what you are witnessing is actually the first board meeting that he is presiding over to discuss on how the university can now move forward in a very, very accelerated manner as expected when a brand like Dr. Chris Ayakilema is attached uh, to it. So we want to thank you members of the press for being around and of course we hope that uh, this our journey to making Wales University a uh, very outstanding one on the continent of Africa will have you members of the press and of course other critical stakeholders to be part of it and make sure that we build a very good brand of excellence in education out of Wales University in the coming years under the leadership of our Chancellor Dr. Chris Ayakilema, DSC, DSC DD, and of course uh, with the chairmanship of uh, this man Ayakilema as president of the Wales University Board and all of us as stakeholders. Thank you very much. And as we've been able to see the great success they have had with, you know, ministry and of course with the other organizations, we can only know for sure that Waldo's University will now be seen under international recognition. And of course, as a board member, I must always remind us that we are always accepting admissions. So please, <laughs> please welcome to <laughs> University weekend. Back to be able to um, apply. We're on social media. We are the school for you know you and yours. So please do do come and visit us in Kotonou. Thank you. <laughs> Your name, please. My name, Dr. Anto Lekin. So most people know me as. Dr. Anto. Yes. Can you say it again? Thank you, Dr. Anto Lekin. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, there are no words to describe how excited um, a son. Uh, can be to see his father, you know, in in such a, an extraordinary, you know, uh, giving such an extraordinary honor. And um, it's been like this for many years. You know, my dad has just gone from one level of grace, one level of promotion to another. So it's been like this for me. And um, I'm just grateful to God that this is yet another feather on the cap, as they say. So we are on the journey, and um, for me, it's more about the experience that I get to learn from him closely in this genre of, of life now. So yes, I am very happy um, for him, that's number one, and also for myself, because I get to learn from him now in his new activities as the chancellor of this uh, prestigious university and institution. Thank you very much. Oh, absolutely. I think that the expectation of the school was captured during the honor yesterday. You know, um, their expectation was acted out when they came to give him the honor. So, of course, it should be the expectation of, this, of, of the board of the school. Do you understand? So, there's where they want to see the school. That is why they came to give honor to him and to have him lead the school in this uh, new 
uh, journey. First of all, it, it's, it's important that you know that I'm not the only uh, uh, person represented here for answers today. I do have uh, some others with me. Uh, our <laughs> member of the board, please come and answer this for us. Well, uh, Abba Amine Kano, uh, member of the BOT. Uh, your question is superb, but uh, His Excellency Dr. Father Chris Oyakilomi has been impacting and is still impacting beyond borders. It's beyond religion, beyond gender, beyond color. He is not uh, localized, he is not regional, he is international. So it's not all about, uh, we are promoting this culture of uh, uh, religion, ethnicity, uh, you know, we have to uh, depart from this norm before we, we get to where we want to get to. So this is what we're promoting, that's why we find him worthy to be our chancellor. Thank you. I am very happy, music all around. Everybody's enjoying, I'm happy. It's great honor and privilege to me. I'm grateful. God has been kind since, and today God answered my prayer. It's difficult to be a lady. It's difficult to be a woman. It's difficult to be a foreigner. But I am blessed in Nigeria because Nigeria is my country. I am Niger, babe, Koki. It's a very tough question, but it's a very, very easy question too. I am a humanitarian. I have my own foundation. I am Rotarian too, and I'm helping society selflessly. I believe two things. Everybody born for a reason, and I have a purpose of my life. I know life, learning, legacy. I am born to create a living, lasting legacy. That is why this is the first milestone what I achieved, and I'm grateful for Welders University, all uh, board of trustees, management, chancellor, and uh, Benin Republic country, and my Nigeria too. I'm truly blessed. Without that, this uh, message will be incomplete. Once I visited, first time I met Welder's uh, uh, doctor, Ugo, Magnus, and Abuja. Then after I met him in Welder's University, within seven days I visited Benin. I saw the campus premises and the Welder's facilities. That was awesome. They really impressed me. 11th of December, they have annual uh, program, the doctor degree and uh, I, I don't know exactly the ceremony name. I've, I attended that and that was the something life-changing event because I believe one, education is must and life also itself education. It's not about you go to school and learn in school. Life is also teaching lots of things to you and good thing about Nigerians, no age limit for learning. Any age they want to learn, we really appreciate. And this is why Welders University, because this is a language beyond the borders. They are, the Benin is French country, we are in Nigeria. Nigeria, we have four uh, basic uh, language. We have 585 languages. We command in English internationally, seven language we are using for all over internationally. But uh, French is our neighbor country. And the world is specialty, French, English, and other, other languages too. And we have uh, a digital platform. We are teaching our people digitally also. We are using digital media very well to empower our people for education. Thank you so much.